Shark finning has to be one of the most cruel and wasteful practices that we as humans have ever inflicted upon the animal kingdom. It involves catching a shark and cutting its dorsal fin off. Because of limited space on the boat and the desire to obtain as many shark fins as possible, the shark is thrown back into the ocean alive. It is unable to swim without its dorsal fin, so if it is the kind of shark that needs to swim in order to ventilate, a process called ram ventilation, to get its oxygen, it will suffocate and die. Even if it isn't a ram ventilator, it will bleed to death. The pain and suffering is unimaginable. Many species of shark are rapidly declining in numbers. This is due to many things, ranging from the destruction of nursery grounds, to entanglement in fishing nets, and being caught by nets as bycatch. More than 50% of shark species are threatened or near threatened with extinction, and pelagic sharks have declined by more than 70% in only a 50 year period. And a recent study found that shark populations were functionally extinct on 20% of the reefs surveyed globally. A big part of this declining numbers is due to overfishing, and in particular, the demand for shark fin products. It has been estimated that 100 million sharks are killed annually worldwide for their meat and fins. Shark fins are worth a lot of money. A kilogram of dried shark fin can fetch up to $1,000. The fins are used in traditional Chinese medicine as it is said to have special properties such as enhancing blood circulation and improving the qi, the essential life force of a person. But the main driving force behind shark finning is something called shark fin soup. In Asian countries, this soup is a symbol of wealth and power. In China, it is often served at weddings and at other special occasions. And if it is not served, the host is seen as stingy. The taste of the soup does not come from the shark fin. The soup itself is made from chicken or pork broth. The fin adds texture and is apparently essential to the essence of the soup. The irony is that shark fins contain a neurotoxin called BMAA and mercury. In one study, high levels of BMAA and mercury were found in the fins and meat of 10 species of shark from the South Atlantic and Pacific Oceans. BMAA may be a risk factor for several degenerative brain disorders, including Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. And mercury is a known reproductive developmental toxin and one that can cause permanent nerve and brain damage. Fetuses, infants and children are at particular risk because their developing brains are more sensitive to disruptions from mercury and other neurotoxins. Because of this, the US Food and Drug Administration recommends that pregnant and breastfeeding women and children avoid eating sharks, swordfish and certain kinds of tuna. The World Health Organization has tested shark fins and determined some fins to be so high in mercury that one bowl of soup exceeds the recommended dose. So from a health point of view, eating shark fin soup really isn't a good idea. And yet there is a concern that the demand for the soup will increase as China becomes more prosperous and modern fishing practices enable large number of sharks to be killed for their fins alone. The soup is not only served in Asian countries, but can be found on the menu of exclusive restaurants around the world, including the UK, where I live. However, this is about to change. There was a piece of fantastic news for shark lovers on Thursday the 29th of June. The Shark Fins Act is now adopted into UK law. The Shark Fin Bill had its final reading in the House of Lords on June the 16th and was just waiting for its royal assent to transform the bill into an act, which has now happened. The act bans the import and export of detached shark fins in the UK. The ban also includes imported and exported products containing shark fins, including things like canned shark fin soup. Shark finning was banned in UK waters in 2003, and in 2009 the UK had a fins naturally attached policy, which meant that it was illegal to land a shark without its fin. However, as long as the shark fin was obtained legally, it could still be used in products in the UK, such as shark fin soup. This new law means that no shark fin can now be used in restaurants to make shark fin soup or used in any Chinese medicine in the UK. This is a vital step towards the protection of sharks and it needs to be implemented globally. 
Although demand for shark fins is mostly by Asian markets, trade in fins occurs globally, in such countries as South America, Australia and Africa, and in the EU. Between 2003 and 2020, EU member states contributed 53,407 metric tonnes of shark-related products, which averaged 28.35% of the total reported imports into the three largest trading hubs, which are Hong Kong SAR, Singapore and Taiwan province. From 2017, the percentage increased steadily from 28.34% to more than 45% in 2020. If this trend continues, the EU could become the majority source of shark fins for the three largest trading hubs for shark products. But why should we be worried about shark numbers declining? Does it really matter? Well yes, the health of the ocean depends on having a healthy population of apex predators, which many sharks are. They are needed to regulate species abundance and distribution. When their numbers are diminished, there is a devastating effect on the intricate balance of the marine ecosystem. I have already mentioned in my video about white tip reef sharks that the decline in these top predators means that there is a rise in the number of species of fish that feed upon herbivorous fish. As a consequence of this, the numbers of fish that feed on algae decline and algae then overgrows the coral reef, turning it into an algal dominated reef and reducing biodiversity. This in turn reduces the resilience of the reef to events such as coral bleaching and storms. Another example which is having a direct impact on human economics is occurring along the eastern US coast. 11 species of shark are nearly gone and so the population of rays and skates as well as some of the smaller shark species have increased to 10 times their normal number. Due to the larger number, more bay scallops were eaten and once they had finished those, they expanded their range and started eating clams and oysters. These bivalves filter phytoplankton and also other organic material from the water column, helping to maintain good water quality. When this no longer happens, coastal areas suffer more toxic harmful algal blooms, or HABs for short, which are poisonous to bivalves, fish, birds, marine mammals and people. This impacts the fishing and shellfish industry and disrupts the tourist trade. This example illustrates the huge damage that can be done to ocean ecosystems and how that can affect the humans that rely on the ocean for their living. So even if you don't like sharks very much, they are of vital importance and urgently need protection from the barbaric practice of shark finning. If you would like to know more about sharks, then please have a look at my series called Spotlight on Sharks and take a deeper dive into the lives of these amazing creatures. If you have enjoyed this video, then please like, subscribe and share with your like-minded friends. And don't forget to turn your notifications on.